I am so excited to have Shelly with us from Caleb's Dragonfly Dreams. Hi, thank you for having me. Yes, it's so awesome to sit with you and, and chat about your organization. Yes. So tell us about it. So Caleb's Dragonfly Dreams, we provide positive activities to, to youth that have been abused and are abandoned that live in local group homes. Um, right now we're, we have homes in Horry County and Georgetown County. Okay, wonderful. And so what's the mission behind, you know, the organization? I heard you say a little bit of it, but just kind of expound on it and right. why it's so important to you. So our mission is um, we basically go in and we do activities, family activities that these kids don't have families. And mm -hmm. it could be as simple as movie night, pizza night, mm -hmm. um, just random, regular. I know it sounds kind of mundane, but right. it's something that's missing from their lives. We also go into the group home, we take them out of the home and do trips with them, just like a family would. Um, around Christmas time, we do a big winter trip that we go rent a cabin, go snow tubing. Um, so it's just important to us that these kids realize that there are people that care about them. Right. Um, then they're not just, you know, kind of thrown away um, and not just sitting in the group homes. Wow. Tell me about, you know, some of the activities that you host throughout the year. Right. So um, we do, we do uh, tie-dye with them, we metal stamp with them, different. We also bring in, as the kids get older, a lot of the kids um, are ages 12 through 17. The younger children get um, fostered or adopted uh, quicker than the older kids. Mm -hmm. um, so we do life skills with them as well. We bring in a mechanic, show them, you know, check your tires, um, check your oil, um, that kind of fun stuff. and. Right now, like tax wow. season, you know, you, you got to pay your taxes. So we, we do that kind of stuff as well. Wow. So what are some other ways that you try to support, you know, the children in the group home setting? So um, we do fundraising events mm -hmm. throughout the year as well. We have a big uh, Renaissance Fest Festival. Um, it's the Mythical Medieval Fest. That is our huge um, one that we've had for going on nine years now. Okay. And then we also are just starting our Celtic Festival. That's at the end of April. So that's our second fundraising event that we have. And what are the like performances like? Yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> it, they're great family friendly events. Um, you can say friendly fundraising family events, if you can say that three times fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, we have Celtic music, we've got a maple dance. Of course, we have artisan vendors, blacksmith demonstrations. Wow. Um, we've got three different stages that things happen. Um, we also have um, hand fasting ceremony. Okay. Yes, we have fairies in our fairy forest. Um, there's activities for kids to do since, of course, it's a charity for kids. So we have a lot of things for kids to do. Wow. Have you ever had like a, a moment where a child just really expressed how much the organization has impacted them? Yes, honestly, whenever they're, they're, they're going up through the phases, they really don't say anything until they phase out when they're 18. Uh -huh. um, and then we have a lot of them that will come back and just express, or they might have families now and say, you know, I've, I've had somebody that call me and say, you know, remember whenever you made that potato soup for us at Halloween? I wanna make that for my family. Can you right. give me that recipe? So that's just something that's really nice to hear that, you know, they are paying attention and it does, it matters and it, it follows them all through them when they become an adult. Wow, amazing. Are there any other activities or upcoming events that you'd like to highlight? Yeah, just the Celtic Festival, April 30th. I would love to see everybody come out. Um, our Renaissance Festival has really, really um, taken off and the community sports just been amazing. So I'm hoping wow. for this second event to catch on as well. So how can our viewers support your organization? Yeah, so they can go to calebsdragonflydreams.org. Um, I always put up a list of donations that we're looking for when we do our tie-dye events. We're always looking for just white t-shirts, um, even the, just the tie-dye kits from Walmart. That's mm -hmm. just a really easy thing. Um, Michael's or Hobby Lobby gift cards. Mm -hmm. That's also something that's very simple and then we can go and get whatever supplies that we needed. Right. Um, so yeah, something like that. Love it. 